Holy shit. Um, okay. Wow, okay, okay, okay. Let's get motion blur off. <sighs> Holy shit, it's huge! Let's go, uh, gotta go in, uh, third person. Oh, I got gray hair! I've got gray hair. I've got weird hair. Oh, it's way different when you're actually in here and not watching someone look at it. Oh, here comes my hair. Now I got a weird haircut. There it is. You know what? There's so much in here that has to load. I'm sure the hair takes a while. Whoops, there it is. Whoop, whoops, there it is again. Um, are you not fully on the ground? This is probably the most dangerous thing to do in Star Citizen right now. What? <laughs> what is going on with you, Starfarer? Get on the ground, yo. That is dangerous as shit. All the other ones seem to be on the ground. This one's on the ground too, right? Yes. Why is this one off the ground? Odd. I don't even care. All right, we're going to take a quick walk around. Details is what I want to see. Details. Look at the landing gear, fellas. See, this is the level of the game now. You know what I'm saying? Someone comes into the game... Oh, is that what it is? It's in the normal hangar? Whoa, stop with the mouse thing. I got my mouse uh, set way too fast right now. Yeah, you're right. I'm not in the gigantic hangar, it doesn't look like. That's okay, I'll take it. I will take it. Oh yeah, look, it's setting on top of the boxes and stuff. I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. Yeah, Citizen Con, man, I can't wait either. Uh, me and Miss G are already trying to figure out how much it's going to freaking cost us. We got to uh, do babysitters. We got to do dog sitters. We got to get our plane tickets, motels, food. It's going to be crazy. I'm hoping we can work it out. But I went ahead and bought the tickets. That way I know I know at least if we can work it out, we can go. Ah, uh, Mr. Hero. Ero, how are you doing? Yeah, this is awesome right here. The The level of detail now, all the decals, all the piping and tubing and everything else, this is the level of detail we're at now. Um, if, if someone buys the game and gets into their Aurora, it's not the same, you know? It is not this. Look at this. Look at this right here. With the pressure cap and bolts. And 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 they if it, if I'm not mistaken they are going over the Aurora the 300 and the uh, Hornet I think to redo those to bring them up to uh, standards too. Oh no problem Proxis thank you yeah 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 just need the address so I can uh, get somewhere nice and close to y'all. Right on lots of dark alleys I hear you. Your internet died for a couple hours hero that sucks ass. Especially in today's uh, today's day and age, I can't do anything without the internet. I can't even can't do nothing. Uh, this surpassed the Retaliator as far as the quality ship, no doubt about it. And it and it's evident just 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 walking around. I mean, I'm not I'm not even talking about interior wise. These tanks are phenomenal. And I don't know how many streamers actually went over and just looked at everything on the outside, but I'm going to do that. So I apologize uh, right now, guys, if if this is a little much. But now look, look, look on the side of the tanks. I'm sorry, right, right in the middle. You can see the hydraulic arms that that decouple away from that 
end, and that looks like maybe where they fill the tanks, maybe, or something. But you can see the locking arms that, 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 that pull out and do something. Wow. Wow. I got a whole bunch of stuff while the internet was out. Like, productivity. Oh, you mean like real world stuff? Yeah, I hear you. I was supposed to actually clean out my workshop out back. I have a, a, a big workshop where I used to work on all my drag cars and stuff. And that was one of my deals for vacation, was to clean that out. So my wife and I and my youngest son went to the beach yesterday. I got sunburned, which doesn't make sense. Been living in Florida way over 40 years. I know about the sun. But we had a little overcast, so I got a little, you know, I got a little uh, cocky, I guess. And I got a sunburn through the clouds, which happens in Florida. So I'm, I don't want to put shoes on. My feet are pretty burnt. Uh, no smoking decals. What about no vaping? Oh, you can vape around uh, Star Fairs. It's totally safe. Matter of fact, I'll do that right now. I, I was trying not to vape during my YouTube video. Ah, uh, with coffee. Vape and coffee rules. Uh, a lot bigger in game. Wow. Dude, you just don't even know, Boomer. This thing is ginormous. Wait till we go inside. So, let's see. These tanks back here are the actual, I believe, storage tanks. And then these are the refinery tanks. Or vice versa. I would think it would need less refinery tanks and more fueling tanks. But these look more techy. Like they would be the refinery tanks. And these would be the storage tanks. So I don't know. Don't quote me. I don't have a freaking clue. That catwalk up there though, guys. Ooh, Lord, can't wait. So um, this is super fantastic. When Lando did this on the uh, ship shape video, I tripped out. Oh, sounds. Get the shit out of here, right? So yeah, front is refinery, rear is storage. So saith the Stoutman. I want to look at this again. Those sound effects, though. Oh, my God. Uh, guys, how's the game volume? Did y'all hear all that? I uh, hope we will be able to put cargo containers where the tanks are at. Hero, uh, we should be able to. There is a blueprint on the RSI webpage that shows solid cargo storage containers on the back of the Starfare. Uh, don't don't expect it real soon, but they are coming. Look at the size of this bastard. I think there'll be much bigger blows in my freaking mind, no doubt about it. Uh, game volume is good. Cool. Thank you, Mr. Chopper. One more time. Get the fuck out of here, guys. That animation and sound effects, though, right? Everything about it, the uh, the dirty steel. Oh, look at the dents. Look at the dents in the uh, actual steel too. Let me get out of first person real quick. You've even got dents in the uh, the steel. No freaking way, man. That's beautiful. Caution, keep clear. Right on. Uh, let's come up here and just take a look. Uh, can I adjust my mouse down, please? Oh, the game overrides. One second, guys. Let me come over here. Uh, with my new gaming mouse I have, the the mouse is, like, super fast. Uh, I'm going to turn it down just a tad. There we go. So decking everything, the underneath side of that walkway, beautiful with all the steel grating. I like the uh, the steel and orange theme too to let you know you're when you're in a, uh, a fuel area or if it's not orange and metal then you're not in the uh, fuel area. Get, get the hell out of here! I could watch those animations all day. Uh, decals, screw holes, everything about it is beautiful. And this is, whoa, might want to work on the lighting a little bit. Uh, I like the, I like it brighter. 
I like it like that. We need to be able to see. Yeah, so it's definitely a glitch. So this cargo area is ginormous. Absolutely ginormous. Uh, you can do do bug donuts with a buggy inside that room. I guarantee you can. Didn't notice the colors. Yeah, that is great. Boomer, and what's cool is the colors change throughout the ship to give you an idea if you're in like living quarters or uh, places that are that deal more with the fuel refinery. Yeah, so these corners over here are entirely too dark, but I think that's a glitch because we actually have overhead lights here. And when you get it at the right angle, you can see the lights like that, and then they go away. So that's definitely a, uh, a bug issue with lighting. So that's very cool. They'll get that fixed, I'm so sure. Uh, insulated. Oh, and look, they got a, a ins Insula. That's probably the brand of insulation, like the company, maybe? But it's just like on uh, probes and stuff from NASA. When you want to shield, you use that gold foil. Beautiful touch. Uh, new ship stats comparison page in the works. You like the smoke effects. Yeah, yeah, that, that hazy environmental effect is nice. Uh, also looks like the fall glitch is back inside. Yes, but I think in these huge ships, they want kind of like an area, especially like... Maybe not in the, the crew quarters, but I think in like cargo bays and stuff like that, we should have that that hazy environmental look because it's just like industrial kind of. Uh, make it a lot easier to tell where you are in the ship. Yes, Mr. Boomer, the colors do that a lot. So the first room, airlock access, is the EVA room, which is awesome. And it's cool. It blocks off the EVA room from the other part of the ship. You've actually got a couple pressure doors here and here. And I'm sure these will get doors as well. I'm so sure because once you're in this room here you have to be completely separated you'll have EVA suits here and then you can go and boom EVA out of the ship all ships need this I my freelancer the cutlass we all need this type of thing uh, you can't tell this you can tell distance better with fog yes um, but I know a lot of people have a problem with it because of a smaller ship they you just don't need that that whole distance thing I think it's more for ambiance Lights off Eagles horror game, no doubt RC Chopper. This would make a beautiful FPS map. I'm so excited, guys. I'm so freaking excited. Animations and sounds. Yes. Separate sound effect for open and close. Uh, a lot of games do not go that detailed, which I know that's trivial, but for me, that's not trivial. I, I struggle to play games with bad sound effects. And I've actually chit-chatted with one of the sound guys for Star Citizen. Not nothing major, but just to congratulate him. The sound effect of the door, the main door in the Revelin York. When I heard that, I immediately knew we were we were in good hands. There was a, a such a, a mixture of sounds. I can't remember. He told me how many sounds were in that one sound effect, and I can't remember now. But it's absolutely amazing. So, cargo bay and EVA room, super freaking awesome, man. And that's huge. I guarantee you we could put a couple auroras back here. Oh, engineer. Engineer. We're going to see how many uh, M50s we can put in the back of this thing. No doubt about it. Once this goes live and we can actually get it into Port Olisar, we're going to have everyone log in with that has an M50 and see how many we can get back here. I'm saying at least five. Four, maybe five. We might have to stack them, but we'll get them in there. All right, steps up. And I guess this would be considered the second level. Uh, so we're, I'm going to start one door at a time because I know I'm going to get lost in here. Merlin Fleet in the cargo bay. Heck yeah. Mini carrier on, on the way. Um, okay, so this is the balcony over the cargo bay. Oh, this reminds me of the Serenity. They have that uh, walkway balcony above the cargo bay. Now, I'm sorry. Uh, a lot of people get mad about all the Serenity comparisons to Star Citizen. If that, in fact, upsets you, you might want to s just unfollow me. Because through the entire way of 
playing Star Citizen, I am going to compare everything to Serenity because that's going to be my playstyle. I want to be a Mal Reynolds. I want to be a Wash. I want to be a Jane, you know? So if you don't like it, take off. I, I hate to lose I hate to lose followers, but I will not stop with the Serenity. And this right here, this view down, uh, if you have not watched Serenity, uh, they have a, a big cargo bay, and it appears to be about this size, with a rear exiting ramp about like this, with a huge balcony around it. It's our Serenity engineer right here. And armada of Benny machines in the back. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, Starfare pocket carrier. Take them all to uh, Korea. Uh, go to a, attack a Starfare and 50 Merlins pop out of the cargo bay, right? Right? It'd be like anime when they all come out like a little swarm. That'd be so awesome. Misk makes Firefly class ships confirmed. Absolutely. Uh, I compare this game to every space movie. Yeah, same here, Boomer. Um... This, this right here, though, is... This is my... This is the first game I'm... Earn, or first... Oh, I'm getting too excited. Hold on. Coffee. Ah, this is no doubt my first... Uh, In-game ship that I'm going to purchase and I'm going to make... Uh, going to make my first in-game... Sorry, I'm clicking things. I can't do two things at once, guys. I'm, I suck. I apologize. Is going to be my very first purchase in game stuffer. Okay, there we go. Uh, I was turning my chat box bo back on and my alerts box back on since we're not going to be recording YouTube videos again. The ambiance sounds too are amazing. Okay, enough of the balcony, enough of the balcony. Um, so I have a door here. I'm going to get lost in here. And this is the window to the cargo bay, right? Yes. Awesome. And then you could, oh, cool, you can uh, do cargo things here. Can't wait to see the cargo system. Uh, this game, man, every day seems to make it more impressive. Absolutely. What is Firefly? Hero. 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 Hero knows what the hell Firefly is. Firefly, hey, how about season two of Firefly, right? Wasn't that great? I would not be surprised if there is a long wait for it in-game. It will take a while to build for everyone that will want one. Stout. Some ships, I would agree. But the Starfare is like you're... Think about driving around on the highway and how many gas trucks you see. You know, I think it's going to be a very common... Like, they'll probably have an entire construction facility on a planet pumping out nothing but starfarers you know there's they're in such high demand for military and for regular now maybe a gemini a gemini might be hard to get but i think i think a standard starfarer should be pretty simple but there again what the, what the hell do i know stout i might be talking out of my ass you may be absolutely correct there is no telling all right let's move let's move uh escape pods one two three and five one three and five. Oh, okay then even numbers over here i was gonna say that's odd Two, four, six. Nice. Oh, did they put the seats in? Did they put the seats in? Oaken Boken. Yes, Firefly is the class. Firefly class freighter. Freighter? Frigate? Whatever it was. But yes, and, and Mal named it Serenity after the Battle of Serenity Valley, which he was in uh, when he was in the brown coats. Actually, he's always going to be a brown coat. But when the brown coats were actually fighting... They, uh, they, he named his ship after Serenity Valley because that was a defining fight for them. Ah, frigate, you think? I think so. I think so, too. All right, let's move into the cockpit. Oh, the seats are in. Excellent. In the Disco Lando video, the seats were not in. Will screens pop up? No, screens will not pop up. Okay. That's cool. Oh, but that captain chair, though. What? All right, so two control desks. Oh, my God. Look at this. It doesn't have a use button. Are you flipping serious? I want to say, make it so, number one. Make it so. Um, 
Photon torpedoes. Fire. I guess so. I want to say this. Why can't I get in there? Uh, you can see the time on the Timex screen. What? Are you just messing with me? Is there a Timex screen? Or am I missing something in chat? That does look like, like a Timex watch though. Or like some kind of watch. There's possibly another... Yeah, it looks like a wristwatch, totally. Alright, so uh, this, is, this is extremely disappointing. I think I want to refund now. I don't want to play Star Citizen anymore. I want to sit in the damn captain's chair now. And I back this game, and I am entitled to sit in the captain's chair now. <laughs> oh, crap. I want to say make it so. Number one, I have to take a number two. Make so. I love it, man. And this is just... Oh, at least we can sit here. So this is just like a gigantic... Nice. A gigantic uh, freelancer cockpit. Without... Oh, wow, that panel looks great. But without the uh, sunroof. Oh, man. Freaking fantastic. Uh, yep. Dirk Smurt was right. This game is a scam. I can't sit in the captain's chair. This is bullshit. I want to I want a refund. And I'm going to tweet about it. Give me my phone. Chris Roberts is a scam artist and it's vaporware. Tweet. I show him. Ha. I tweet it all over. I'm Dirk Smurt. Or should I? As my boy Geo called him one day. Dick fart. <laughs> if you look at my donations up there, there's a donation from Dick Fart, which is Derek Smart. But that's his actual proper uh, proper name, is Dick Fart. Okay, so we have... Oh my god, I'm going to get so lost. Right, so I came up through here, right? This is the balcony, right? Yes. I came through here. That is the cockpit. An escape pod room. I'm going to get so lost in here. I can't wait for the Starfarer gets into live hangers and we get 700 daily threads about the visibility of the cockpit, which, in my opinion, looks fine. Dana, let me tell you about the, uh, the community. They want what they want right now, or they're going to whine and cry. Not all of This is a very small percent, but you're absolutely right. That is going to be the whiny thing. And you know what? This is a, a freaking big rig. This is a this is a big industrial ship. If you want good visibility, get a P-52. Get a Mustang Delta. You're not going to get the visibility. Wait wait till people see other, you know, big ships. You're not going to have the visibility. Imagine yourself being in a submarine. You have one porthole and you have to rely on your instruments. That's what you're that's what you need to imagine it as. Uh hero need to make the rounds and see what the team is up to. Newbie, uh, was this a $190 ship? Was the Starfare originally $190? Hey, Mr. J. Welcome in, buddy. Uh, the whiners are the most vocal group, so people see that as being the majority of the crowd when, in fact, they are the minority. Yes, what they are, they are the vocal minority. And you're absolutely right. That's what sucks. All us guys that know what's going on, we tend to stay out of it because we're like, oh, listen, here comes the whiners again. And you turn the channel, you know? And that's just how it happens. All right, so this is... Whoa, this is also... Wait. Okay, this is back in there. That's back to the middle. Wait, where the hell does this go? Oh, second floor. Second floor, okay. All right, I got it. These stairs are good now, right? Yes. Alright, second, second floor. Living quarters, that way. Uh, maintenance, that way. Oh, cargo, that way. Oh, I see how the uh, the little arrows are pointing. Awesome. That's awesome. Uh, water buffalo, I have fine waiting. I just was wondering. Thank you for giving me hope again. 
Yeah, the Blade 250 and the 195. Well, you know, when the Starfare first popped up, it it was one it was a very early ship and it was never supposed to be this gigantic. Everything grows in Star Citizen. Oh, okay, okay, this is a, oh, the lift, a lift, lift, gotcha. Uh, wait, before we go up there, that's the living quarters. That's back down to cargo. Maintenance. All right, real quick, before I just run by everything, let's take a look. I know a lot of people are running too fast by everything. This ship looks fucking amazing, man. Uh, originally 175, back when it was 60 meter ship. 60 meter, right? Oh my god, I, oh, that was such a bargain back then, man. Uh, go to your right. I'm going to my right. Uh, Stoutman, third floor is... The lift is the third floor. Gotcha, gotcha. But then again, after seeing that and seeing how quickly they're pumping out ships, you may see more on the Orion sooner than later, but who knows? And Water Buffalo, I agree. The only problem is, is uh, Squadron 42. I think all those ships or anything that might make an appearance in Squadron 42 is gets uh, priority. So, I mean, everyone knows that, but... Since there's not going to be any mining in Squadron 42, once they get close, then they'll do it. Freelancers, 30% bigger now. Yep. Uh, it, the, 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 the freelancer did not shrink. No, it did get bigger. No, I'm on the third floor now? Wait, cargo? First floor. Stairs, second floor is the uh, EVA... No, I'm sorry. It's the, that's the cockpit. Oh, you're right. And now I'm on the third floor. You're right. You're right. Oh, my bad. I am on the third floor. And now we are heading to maintenance. So there's four floors? Stout. Yeah, Vengeful. It's, it's amazing how huge this freaking ship is, man. And this is maintenance area. Oh, and these right here. Alien isolation. I'm not even going in there right now. Those are LO access tunnels to uh, work on stuff. Um, oh, escape pods. Uh, survival suit. Oh, EVA suit. EVA suits here. I think. What does it say? In emergency, doors may close without warning. Oh, how awesome is that? And then this goes... Uh, and more maintenance tunneling. Does this go back to the... Oh, and look. It's getting very, very crowded. Uh, thank you, Moroku. Moroku for the follow. Thank you, sir. Enjoy your stay. Uh, we are just uh, checking out the amazingly large Starfare. So I guess that, that little access tunnel runs all along the edge. Uh, windows out. Oh, we are going to the rear turret. Awesome. There's a floor plan image folder on Imager. Yeah, I saw that. It is super awesome. And the Jeffries tubes, right? Right? And they're spooky. I don't even want to go in them right now. Fourth floor is living quarters. Awesome. Four-story tall fucking ship, people. And it started off as a... What was it? Uh, engineer? A 60-meter ship to start with? Or something like that? Smuggling cubby holes. You damn right, Unji. You damn right. Uh, so, okay. We'll, keep, we'll go around. We'll keep going. So, these are the, 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 the tubes going along or above the... Uh, the fuel as the fuel storage shells and refineries are actually right underneath our feet here and this goes to the rear turrets which I don't think are operational right now no they are not but they are the type that will bring you down and flip you upside down like the retaliator which is cool they they needed to do that bad a lot of lighting issues which I'm fine with because look how beautiful it is and to only have a few lighting issues hell yeah I'm going to say it. Fuck yeah. <laughs> uh, I just got lost running around the Star Fair. Right, Worm Jake? I'm trying to be very careful, and I have Stoutman. Stoutman's going to be my uh, my tour guide. All right, we're doing it. Screw it. Let's get down in a crouch. Oh, my God, yes. Smuggling cubby holes for sure. <gasps> okay. So that's where that one's at, right there. <laughs> okay, so we found a collision issue. Uh, do not get on the on top of the beds. Okay, gotcha. I will do that. Or I won't do that. Just gonna open this back up. And there's also a little 
A little collision issue for the uh, little smuggle box back there, which I'm cool with too. Because I, that just means I get to lower the, the rear hatch again, or the rear ramp, which is an amazing thing. And we get to close it. Yeah, I'll tell you right now, that is the best animation in the game right now. All right, so first floor, now up to the second floor. Very, very Thank you for the follow. The crazy green banana. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Uh, oh, I never went this way. Thank you for the follow, crazy green banana. Um, Not sure what those are. Now this should go out to the catwalk, yes. Since we're right here, let's go ahead and look at this real quick. This is where a lot of awesome doodads are. A lot of little whatchamajugis, shotchotskis, and all the other stuff. Look at the detail. Look. Uh, case in point. You have the bolts that hold on the plate, and then you can actually see the freaking gasket in between the other piece of metal. There you go. Get the hell out of here, right? That's what sets Star Citizen apart. The ship is bigger than most Golden Eye levels were. Yeah, for real. Bananas has warped into the gray universe. Thank you, crazy green bananas. I love very inventive Twitch names. Like, I still can't get over Sergeant Jockich. That kills me. Broccoli. 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 Awesome. But anyway, there, I mean, a gasket. Get the frig out of here, man. Uh, see-through grates. You've got floor mat. Dude, is there like little biohazard symbols in the... Look at the symbols in the, uh... Symbol in the mats. Misk. Thank you. Thank you, my love. Miss Gray gonna grab me some more coffee so I don't have to get up. She's so awesome. I hope all you guys can have a wife as awesome as mine one day. She also got sunburnt. Uh, so anyway, this will be... It's getting very, very crowded. Thank you for the follow, Star-Lord. Whoa, the Star-Lord. Uh, there will be gravity on this walkway, but not... Uh, won't be pressurized. You will have to wear an EVA suit. And at first I thought these were uh, little biohazard symbols, but they're actually freaking MISC symbols in the rubber mats on the freaking walkway. Get the crap out of here that's insane man and how about this view here going into quantum drive do you think we'll be able to or you think it'll throw us off who knows you can even see the gasket over there in between that those connections over there see I could spend hours uh, picking, the, picking out the details thank you baby alright love you. See you soon. Miss Gray is heading to the grocery store to pick up groceries. The cabling. I can't get over this. Let's get out of here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to spend all my time looking at all the little tchotchkes. I can do that later. Uh, you think, Mr. J, that the gravity should keep you on? Oh, mag boots? Hey, winners, our mag boots need to come back on. Uh, let's try this. Um, Stoutman, will this take us up to the maintenance level? I believe to where we were yeah it's only one level up so let's do that I want to use the lift there we go whoa he doesn't like to stay put on his lift um, whoa oh oh EVA suits EVA suits right on <gasps> I forgot about this too our first ship with a gravity generator I totally forgot about this. Shit! This ship is full of just cool shit. We're gonna go look at that. Let me take a drink. Oh my god. You gotta be freaking shitting me! I forgot about the gravity generator. Oh my god. Uh, it's a baby Death Star. Right on. Hey, Board Gamer is in the house. What's up, my brother? Uh, checking out the Star Fair for the first time. I couldn't stay up and watch uh, WTF. 
his his uh his uh, uh, uh download was taking so long. It poor WTF in his Canadian download. <coughs> With my new uh, speeds I got, I can download it now in about 32 minutes. And I felt so bad for him, man. Um, MJ Red, thank you for the follow, sir. Enjoy the gravity room that we're about to look at right now. So, um, very, very back on the maintenance level. Uh, Golijinika, I'm not even going to try to pronounce your name. Gol, Golij, thank you very much for the follow, sir, and welcome, and I hope you enjoy your stay. So, uh, gravity room, get the hell out of here. This is going to make the best FPS level ever. They need to have a star fair in space. Derelict. Make it a level. Make that happen, CIG. Ah, uh, you have finished all your work for the weekend, board gamer. Awesome, man. Good deal. Uh, now to have a brewski. Oh man, it's it's like ten in the morning for me. Don't mention brewskis. What time is it? Oh, it's noon. I could have a beer, but I'm not going to. Yeah, I might. Oh, speaking of, babe, could you pick me up a six-pack? Or tonight for Not So Sober Saturday. Just surprise me. Whatever you want to grab. It's not a Budweiser. Ah, yeah, dark beer. I know you would never pick me up a Budweiser. <laughs> I know that. Yeah, any any dark beer. Just surprise me. All right, cool. So uh, Gravity Room is flipping fantastic. If the lighting bugs would just stop. But that's fine, too so awesome uh then we have more stuff back here god what the hell man where's all these rooms going to <gasps> what the shit is this what the hell is this room is this more like engineering crap i'm guessing i should say crap more engineering rooms Oh my god, today is Not So Sober Saturday. I will definitely be able to watch. That's a first. Awesome hero. Uh, we're having Fast Cart on. Fast Cart will be my guest tonight. He does an awesome Star Citizen package comparison. And you guys get to learn a whole bunch about the backstory on Fast Cart. He's a great guy. Super smart. Uh, amazing uh, mod to a lot of channels. He's just a good guy all, all around. So it's going to be awesome. Straight six. Yeah, it's a straight six. Kind of like in the old Mustangs. Uh, board Gamer, good breakdown of 2.3 and the Blade. Yes, it was. Great video as always, Board Gamer. That's why I don't make YouTube videos no more. You guys you guys make, like, the best videos. I feel uh, inadequate now. Uh, so this is... Uh, Captain Herlock, this is back of the main engine? Is this the one right in the middle? The, the one right in the middle, I'm guessing? Or is are these the side engines? I don't even know. Dalton, thank you. Fetus Maximus. Fetus. Fetus Maximus. Thank you for the follow, sir, and I hope you enjoy your stay. Gray-headed gamer for president. All right, so this is the, the center engine here. Awesome. Uh, and then we got more walkways. Uh, it's very dark here. I don't know what this is. Smuggling room, I'm going to guess. We're going to call that a, another smuggling room. We need more smuggling room, CIG. Oh, this is back to the, the generator room. We want to go this way. Uh, more escape pods. And this goes to the other rear turret, I'm guessing. We'll just walk down it just because we can. Whoa! Is this another uh, Jeffrey Tube smuggle box? Yes, smuggle box. And they they were talking about other... Um, uh, once we get, like, coolers and, and power plants and stuff like that, we'll have to... Ac people have to run back here, access them, and fix them in flight. That's gonna be fucking amazing. God dang it. I'm gonna need small guys. Uh, the orange and gray is mint. Yeah, man. Look at that. Freaking spectacular. Uh, so, yes. Rear turret access. Access. And then these windows. You can see your refineries and stuff. I love the scratches on the windows, too. Totally industrial. And sorry, guys, if I'm just, like, going over every piece of the ship. This, this, this is just how it is. This ship is absolutely stunning. 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 Ah, alright. Okay, broken. With the 
emote. Uh, gotta watch SNG now. Pretty hyped. SNG. Oh man, where am I at now? Where am I at? Uh, firefight inside Starfare will be incredible. Fetus, you are not joking. I was talking about that earlier. This actually needs to be a dedicated FPS map. Uh, say like uh, uh, something with a derelict Starfare. Trying to take control or something like that. Good morning, Mr. Gamble. Welcome and thank you for joining me, sir. I am just admiring this beautiful Starfarer, man. Unbelievable. Sergeant Gamble, uh, if any of my mods are in, can we please get a follow for uh, Sergeant Gamble? I uh, don't know if any of my mods are actually in here or not. But uh, Sergeant Gamble, I heard you had an amazing night the other night, man. Congratulations. You well deserve it, my friend. You are one of the most entertaining new streamers I've ever seen in my entire life. My wife and I were just talking about it. Absolutely amazing, dude. Uh, yeah, Starfare is just stinking incredible. It sets a new level of detail for everything. This is how everything's gonna look, man. Unfrickin' real. Unfrickin' real. All right, so now I'm officially lost again. Um, oh, this is the maintenance access living quarters this way. So we're gonna take the lift. Right? Yes, the lift to the uh, the living quarters. Because I am too good for ladders. No, I'm just joking. Yes, be, best DJ on Twitch, Sergeant Gamble, man. I'm telling you, he is going places. He's gonna be, he's gonna be big, like big. I'm telling you, Sergeant Gamble has a way of just being spectacular. Uh, yeah, I think. It was... It was a stinger, but it was uh, so close. Uh, the layout is amazing. I don't think one like the Carrick will be as interesting. It's just a long tube of individual rooms like the Constellation. I think the uh, I think it'll surprise you. The, I think the Carrick will surprise you. It looks like a long tube, but it is so wide. There's going to be a lot of connecting uh, tunnels and all. Uh, Finesha, thank you so much for the follow. Enjoy your stay. We are just checking out the huge and beautiful Starfarer. Uh, and... Once again, I'm going to go ahead and do the Serenity uh, comparison. Here is our mess hall. Actually have places to sit for the crew to get together, discuss cats and farts and stuff like that. Because it is a video game, we will be discussing stuff like that. And then you have your kitchen. Our beautiful, beautiful kitchen at that. Industrial microwave ovens. Uh, the only thing that's missing is a coffee pot. We need it right here in this corner. CIG, if you can get on that, please. I don't want to have to get a refund, but I will if I don't have a coffee pot. And look at the well-used floors coming into the mess hall. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, yeah, the Carrick is at least three stories tall. At least, it, wait a minute. If this is four stories tall, then the Carrick is going to be four stories tall. Because the Carrick is ginormous ginormous uh it needs a benny's machine as well absolutely hey mr boomer you're you're curious about the merchantman the merchantman is going to be going to be a flying shopping plaza it's going to be beautifully huge and what i really cannot wait for is to see the alien tech and how that is all with the banu we got a sneak peek uh sneak peek at a banu ship it was a straight up and down, I think, transport ship. It was a very early gray box and, and nothing to get excited about, but it was awesome. Uh, I really hope the Merchantman ends up being like a massive floating bazaar. It is. That's exactly what it is, Oaken Boken. It is a floating bazaar. You're going to have shop. I, you know, I, I bet you you can charge people to set up shop in your Banu Merchantman. I'm putting my money on that. So cruise quarters. Here we go. Everyone's going to have to sleep side by side. There's enough beds where we're not going to be hot bunking, though. Hot bunking is kind of gross, especially when you have people that sweat a lot. But at least the crew quarters, we have plenty of beds. Um, a locker room? Very nice, a locker room. Wait, what is this? What the hell is this? I can't wait to see the Iterus after this. Yeah, you know what? The Iterus is uh, borderline... Getting there almost done, but they're not. I guarantee you, they're not going to show us that until Squadron 42. We got a little tour, but that's going to be like our wow moment when we get to actually walk around the Idris, and they need to do that. Uh, why not the Nostromo? Oh, no, 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 the good man person. 
100% alien fan here. Uh, yes, we could definitely make comparisons to the alien universe, to the Star Wars universe, but I am just a huge Serenity and Fo Firefly fan. Uh, the Reliant, Crazy Green Banana, I'll tell you right now, it's going to be soon. I bet you they're going to slide this in when 2.3 goes live. I guarantee they're going to slide that in. At least Hangar Ready. It's, it's, it's Hangar, it's, it's right there, you know? And they were doing the optimizing passes for a couple hangers to have it hanger ready. I guarantee they're going to surprise us with that. Uh, I'm missing a lot of uh, chat. I apologize, guys. Uh, but what if they don't pay the rent? Can you either eject their crap into space? Oh, uh, eject their crap into space. If they don't pay rent in your bazaar or eject them into space and keep their stuff for payment, right? Uh, no star trooper, starship trooper shower scenes here. Yeah, I know it's separate closets. That was a uh, an amazing scene though. Uh, Raminet, thank you so much for the follow. So this is what I want to talk about here, guys. This is a lie. There's no girls in Star Citizen. They they need to freaking put the female character models in. Bad. I want my wife to play with a female avatar. Because soon she's going to have her own computer and we're going to be playing together. And I don't want to be sitting there chatting with my wife when she's a dude. You know? Weird. Uh, which ship do you think will be bigger in the finished game? Karak or the Starfare? The Starfare is bigger. I mean, uh, the Karak is bigger. Uh, I would think the Orion will be alien-ish. Yes, totally. Oh my god, yeah. 100% Stoutman. The inside of the Orion is going to be like that the scene from Alien where uh, Ripley's running around and, and it's all steamy, industrial. Oh, God, yes. No doubt about it. Uh, what about shopping? Shopping should be soon as well. But I think the main holdup on shopping right now, uh, Dalton, is uh, persistence. Uh, Carrick is longer but not as wide. May not have as much interior volume. But Engineer, Wait. It's still just a ship model, as far as hollow table model. They haven't actually started. It's gonna get. I I can almost see that ship getting bigger. Once they start laying everything out, I hope there are girls, sexy ones down uh, there. When the character creation comes online, if it's anything like Black Desert, we're gonna have some sick ass characters. Uh, do you? You don't want to be kissing on some dude, uh, Captain Herlock? No, I'd rather be kissing on my wife. I mean, unless, you know, that's if, if that's her choice, then, yo, still got to love her. Uh, I just want my wife to play with females just saying, right. That was kind of creepy and sexy at the same time. So anyway, bathrooms are in and functional. And I believe Lando made this uh, comparison that the girl's bathroom should look absolutely shiny and cleany and the boy's bathroom would be gross and dirty. And I agree with him. Out of the crew quarters we go. I'm getting... I'm just getting uh, distracted by all the stuff. Um, this is... Whoa, whoa. Something just happened weird in that doorway. I'm not going to go in there. Uh, that was the actual... I'm bobbing around. That was the access coming in the lifts, right, from the uh, understairs lifting us up. So this is maintenance access... Oh, this goes down to the Jeffrey tubes, right? Yes. Okay, cool. I don't want to go down there yet. But that's cool as hell. Little Z fighting. Haven't seen that in a while. Dim lighting bugs, though. They'll get fixed soon enough. Uh, apparently, he's never been in a woman's restroom. Oak and broken. That's not how it is? I thought the girls' bathrooms were super duper clean. I guess not. Uh, professional chaos. Welcome, buddy. Okay, so uh, Shady Face says the Starfare to equals the Serenity to him, and the Carrick is the Mass Effect Normandy. I can see that comparison. I can see that. Yes, I'm going for the Captain's Quarters now. I'm trying to find it now. Is this here? Yes, right off the mess hall. <gasps> That's right, I forgot we get an office. Holy crap, it's a huge office, too. Whoa, not, not, no, never mind, never mind. Get back up. Get back up. We just want to crouch. 
Engineer! Wait, you know what we need to do? Oh my god, I know what we need to do. Hold on. What's going on? Get out of crouch. I know what we gotta do, guys. I know what we gotta do now. I know what we gotta do. It's a necessity. I don't know if anyone's done this yet. And if you have, I'm not trying to steal your stuff. But I know what I gotta do. Oh, I turned. What ha What the hell happened? Why did my game turn before I got out? Okay. Don't move your mouse. Don't move your mouse. Don't move your mouse. Perfect. All right. Engineer. Get, fetch me a cup of coffee. <laughs> I am in the captain's chair in his office. This is amazing. Engineer, number one. Number one, make, uh, make it so. This is fantastic. I gotta get, there we go. My Starfarer is a beautiful ship. Welcome to my Starfarer. <laughs> this is amazing. This is what it's going to feel like, guys, right here. Except I think I'm a little too big. I may be a tad big for this desk. Or maybe I'm just a big guy in Star Citizen. Maybe I'm like seven foot tall in Star Citizen. I think we shall get along with the tour now. Welcome to my Starfarer, and I hope you enjoy your stay. Very nice. Okay. Enough being stupid. Back in the game. Ah. But that's fantastic. Yeah, being, being the captain for a... <gasps> I forgot about the bed sheet. How freaking fantastic is that? Very nice. I look like Gary Coleman from Different Strokes. <laughs> Vanessa, uh... Thank you. Uh, what sucks is the captain's chair is in the cockpit does not work. Right? Yokoro, I was up there, and I w that's all I wanted to do. And I wanted to say, make it so. And that's all. And I would get back out. And it wasn't there. Uh, Raminette, stupid is good. All right. I w you need to talk to my wife. You, got you need to talk to my wife because I, I, I think so, too. Goofiness is, you know, I guess once you live with someone, and they, they just are goofy 24-7. What you talking about, Willis? Finish <laughs> Ah, but yeah, once you live with someone and they act this way always, then it gets pretty annoying, I guess. Uh, Elazar, DEI, hey, what's up, bud? Welcome to the, uh, the stream. What the hell is up? Why do we have... Does the toilet retract into the floor when you shower? That's what I'm guessing. It's got to, right? Because if not, you would have to straddle... You'd have to straddle the toilet and shower. Lando made a good point that you could poop while you shower, which is kind of like, you know, two birds, one stone thing, but it is my personal opinion that the shower should be here over, over by the sink because, well, maybe the toilet paper is locked behind these doors, so that's kind of cool, but you could really get the toilet paper wet and that would suck. Ruin your whole space vacation, you know what I'm saying? That would suck. Captain's quarters, though, love it. It's cool to see a big ship with actual, uh, uh actual quarters. Uh, this is the best ship interior I've ever seen next to the Normandy. Yeah, man. Uh, I'll tell you right now, uh, Finn. This right here is the level of detail they're going for, and all the ships are going to get this and above. So this is just further in the pipeline, and they just get better and better and better. Sounds like the toilet in France. Is that, is that how they are in France? Multitasking poops, it's Spacer 101. Yeah, when you're in the middle of a firefight and you're like, oh my God, we're getting attacked. But I also got a poop and shower. So boom, you go in there, poop, shower, bam, out. And you're done. Multitask. Uh, three seashells, yeah, maybe that three seashells are behind that little door. I don't know how to use the three seashells. <laughs> he doesn't know how. And then you just curse. Dude, that was actually funny when he just cursed a whole bunch, took the tickets and wiped his ass with them. Uh, it's... The future efficiency is the key. Absolutely, Ram. That is the key. Efficiency, efficiency, efficiency. 
Uh, so it looks like it goes back in the wall. Yo, it may. That is the, the, the mysteries of science. Oh, you know what? You're absolutely right. Look, you can actually see around the edges of the border of the toilet. It slides back. Yoko, Yoko, Yoko Rose? Yoko Rose. Ten points to you, my friend. Ten points to you. It definitely slides back into the wall. Uh, do we have a door here? Possibly have a door separating these two rooms? Possibly. We shall see. So, captain's quarters, mess hall, everything about this ship is 100% fantastic, guys. 100% fantastic. The level of detail. Um, I don't even know what I've missed so far. So, you going to Citizen Con, Ramnet? I am going to Citizen Con. Fingers crossed. I bought my tickets. Uh, the only problem is, is uh, it's myself and my wife. It's my wife's birthday weekend. So I have, to, there's no way I could go by myself. That would be horribly rude. So um, I got myself and Miss Gray a ticket. Um, our main issue right now is I will have to double up the, 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 the plane tickets, which I've never flown before. It's going to be hard. So I got to get two plane tickets. Uh, motel, which means I can't stay in the condo that all the streamers are staying in because, you know, I'm going to have my wife. My wife is not going to want to hang out in a four or five day sausage fest. You guys understand, right? So I'm going to have to get a motel for me and my wife, the plane tickets for me and my wife, um, babysitting for my son, uh, dog sitting for my dogs. It's going to be like this thing. Like, But what I did was we're not sure if we can actually afford to go yet. But what we did do is get the tickets now. And that way, if we can save up the money to go, then we we're set, you know. So that's that's how we're going to work it. Um, no, I have never flown Mr. J ever in my life. I love the Sausage Fest slide slide. My wife, she's like, uh, and she's like, you really want to go into a house with a bunch of dudes you don't even know? I'm like, baby, I talk to him all the time on the internet. She's like, that's not knowing, honey. I'm like, you're right. And she watches this, uh, this TV show called Web of Lies, Web of Lies. And it's all about these people that meet on the internet and you meet them in real life and they kill you. Boom. No sleeping in there. Uh, 666 helicopter, it's called a bridge when it's that size that, not a cockpit. Yes, you're absolutely right. Did I call it a cockpit? I apologize if I did, but you're right, it is a bridge. Um, but yeah, never flown, man. Uh, I'm getting on a plane. LOL. See, that's the thing. Oh, I ain't getting on a plane. I have never flown, so. But, gray-headed gamer, your wife will really find out how much you spend on Star Citizen. Yeah, I know. I know. But I, yeah, I, like I told her, I, just, I said, you'd be absolutely fine, babe. They're all great guys, but no, she said no. Uh, can we get Miss Gray to film you on the takeoff? I'll probably be passed out. I think she's going to drug me like B.A. Baracus and A-Team, just to let you know. That's just how it's going to work. Uh, we, all, uh, we all met before. You're the sketchy one, Gray. Oh, side side, you're right. I'm the new guy. I, you, I might kill all you. Side side. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. You know, that that's that's our whole deal right now is, one, I've agreed to fly. My wife's always wanted to go to California, and it just so happens it falls right on her birthday, right around her birthday. So taking her to California on her birthday for Citizen Con, and she's just now getting into Star Citizen. So everything's working out perfect. We'll just have to work out actually saving up and get everything planned out. I can get my vacation super duper early. So that should not be a problem, uh, getting my vacation at uh, work. <gasps> Whoa, do you see that? I didn't even do uh, an, an F. Uh-oh, don't move. Don't move. I think that um, there might be a bug with that ladder. And I think I, Stoutman might have told me about it. Uh, side slide makes a good point. He does. He always makes good points. What's up, Proxis? Welcome, buddy. I haven't seen you in here. My local buddy can't go, so I'll be bunking by myself also. Everybody donates. We can get this man to Citizen Con. You know, that would be awesome. And uh, a lot of the streamers have been talking to me about that. I just feel weird putting up like a, like a, a, a donation drive, I think they called it. Uh, but I'm talking to them about that now. I, I kind of want to, but I'm going to save that. We'll, we'll see. 
Uh, maybe on Not So Sober Saturday tonight, I might start something like that. I just feel weird about it, you know? But it's cool. We'll see. Uh, it's for the damage state textures. This right in here? Don't use them. Right on. Aaron Boomhauer, welcome and uh, enjoy your stay, friend. Thank you for the follow. Uh, that's still pretty cool for a bug. Yeah, that's why I'm not moving because this is like really cool. It's like seeing the inside, but you're right. When it gets broke up and you get to see the like the internal framework, it makes it like that. So that is kind of cool. Yes, I slide the uh, that's the ladder tech they showed us last year for FPS. Yeah, it is actually. But it's all getting worked in now, Proxis. So that's kind of cool. All right, so let's move. What can we see? Oh, okay, cool. I can look around. So that's actually really cool. Oh, is that the that's the cargo doors down there, right? Let's move. Let's move a little bit. Uh-oh. Where are we at now? <gasps> Did I fall through the world? Whoops. Let's see if we can get out of this. Oh, no. I hope I'm not, like, stuck in a bad spot. Oh, I can see the cockpit through there. Yeah, it looks like I might be... I might be stuck inside the ship. That's fine. I'll just have to... Maybe I can uh, go prone. Nope. Looks like I might have to uh, go to the main menu, go back to my hangar, and then we'll continue back. Ah. Uh... Oh, it's thundering good here. Wow. Looks like Florida is going to get some major thunderstorms tonight. Awesome. I love our lightning storms, man. It's so awesome. Uh, Grayheaded Gamer, you should do a GoFundMe. Man, see, I'm just really weird out about that. Oh, we need to put you on uh, Patreon status here. In uh, in the bot. Welcome. Elazar. Let's go into here. Find Elazar. Crap. Hide offline. I'm looking for you, bud. I'm looking for you. Let me sort by name. I'm such a bad streamer. There you are. There we go, Elazar. You are uh, Patreon status on the uh, stream now. Beautiful. Gray, what ships do you own? Delton Fury, I own... Uh, And Aurora. I uh, an Aurora LN, a uh, Mustang Omega racing ship, a Freelancer Max, and a Freelancer Dur. I also have a Reliant, and I believe that's it. So I'm not sure. How do I sub to your channel? Uh, unfortunately, Ramit, I don't have a subscription. Um, what I do is I do have a Patreon page. And that's basically the same thing for me. I use that for uh, giveaways and, and things like that. Um, and you can put in exclamation point patron in chat and it will pop right up. And I think the bot might have just did that uh, all, already. Uh, toilet paper dispensers are out in the open instead of enclosed. Uh, Finesha, actually, Finn Sasha. Finn Sasha? I'm going to call you Finn. Uh, the toilet paper dispensers are actually pretty hidden on this one. tucked into the walls or is it in the uh the crew bathrooms or like that because i know there was an old picture of bathrooms where the toilet paper was right underneath the showers but that's that's just silly and i think what we'll do is uh i think we're gonna end the starfare section of this and go jump in universe and see if i can actually see the uh kathy wall i don't know if we all get that or not typical phineas what's up partner welcome 